Welcome to Learn Biology and we're still discussing the cell cycle and now we're discussing mitosis. We already completed interface in the last video. What we need to understand about mitosis is that, is that mitosis is known as the division of the nucleus. That is what mitosis means. And it is split into four main parts. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And we'll describe each one uh, individually. So we begin with prophase, which is the first step of mitosis. And we have already matured our cell through interface, and now we have this cell as we can see right here. What happens is that chromatin becomes chromosome. So we go from the loosely coiled DNA to tightly coiled DNA known as chromosome. So they become that X kind of shape. What happens next is that the nuclear envelope disintegrates or disappears. Uh, usually chromosomes are surrounded by a nuclear envelope, a, a thing that covers, uh, surrounds them. Well this goes away, so the nuclear envelope disintegrates. Next we have these things called centrioles which we discussed earlier. Centrioles uh, migrate to the poles. Centrioles are tiny uh, hooks, you could say they're anchors, which uh, allow, move around the chromosomes. So here we have the centrioles right here. It's like an anchor and these centrioles move to opposite sides of the cell. Then we have spindles. Spindles are like rope or string and what they are are that they connect the centrioles together so uh, we have the spindles right here the rope we can see that connect and the chromosomes are hooked on to the spindles so as we can see here so th that is the first part of mitosis prophase in the second step metaphase so Second step, uh, the spindles contract and pull, so they're tugging and pulling, which causes the chromosomes to align in the middle of the cell, kind of like a line on the equator of the cell. And this is known as metaphase, meta middle. So remember the term meta and middle. So spindles contract and pull chromosomes to the middle or to the equator and central, the uh, centrioles are still on the outsides and the spindles are still connecting them and tugging and pulling. Then we have our third step, anaphase. So anaphase, the third step, so number three, uh, what occurs is that centromeres divide. We have a chromosome with a middle. The centromeres centromere separates so that means that this is split into two parts so that is what occurs in anaphase the centromere split up and go to opposite poles uh, they, so the half of the chromosome goes to one side and the other goes to the other so chromatids split also so the sister chromatids these split in to two parts so it's kind of like we have a break in the cell and then we have telophase telophase because the cell kind of looks like a telephone telophase telephone what occurs here is that we have this split in the middle and the cytoplasm uh, sorry the new nuclear envelope starts to appear so we have the chromatids and there's an envelope starting to form around each new pair so that is telophase so here we have that we have two visible nuclei we can see the nucleus once the nuclear envelope appears and centrioles and spindles start to disappear they disintegrate so disappear and this is telophase 
and also this is the final stage of mitosis a final stage and uh, that is mitosis our final step is known as cytokinesis which is its own individual step so in cytokinesis what we're doing cytokinesis is known as the division of the cytoplasm so it is known as the division of the cytoplasm and it is a little different in uh, plant cells compared to animal cells but we'll discuss that so what we're doing here is that this is the final stage of the cell cycle so final stage and what it is is we're splitting the nucleus so that we have two identical cells two identical daughter cells what we have here is in animal cells all the uh, you know the nuclear nucleus have been formed and everything what happens here is that this section right here this part uh, known as the cleavage furrow so it is known as the cleavage furrow just comes in pushes in until it splits into two different parts kind of just splits into two parts by squeezing inward and this is known as the cleavage furrow in plant cells a dense plate is formed a cell plate so this right here is known as the cell plate and what it does is that it grows outward which splits the plant cells into two parts so thank you for watching learn biology and we'll see you next time